This is LDM News, and I'm your host today, Charles Aloma. And I want to thank you for coming here and watching our show today. Let's start speaking about statistics. Everyone knows statistics. They always take a survey and say, this is bound to happen. Nine out of ten doctors said this. Nine out of ten said that. nine out of something. But one statistic that people spoke about was kids born in the 80s and 90s. Say a majority of them would be dead by now, in jail. Anything could happen because of the 80s were times of struggling. Well, watch this video that's coming up next, and it speaks of the kids of the 80s. And if you were one of those kids of the 80s, then this video will be more at heart and in mind with you. So watch this video. I can't believe we made it. According to today's regulators and bureaucrats, those of us who were kids in the 50s, 60s, 70s, or even early 80s probably should not have survived. Our baby cribs were covered with bright colored lead-based paint. We had no childproof lids or locks on medicine bottles, doors, or cabinets. And when we rode our bikes, we had no helmets. We drank water from the garden hose and not from a bottle. We ate cupcakes, bread, and butter, and drank soda with lots of sugar in it. But we were rarely overweight because we were always outside playing. We would leave home in the morning and play all day, as long as we were back when the street lights came on. No one was able to reach us all day. Smartphones? We didn't have cell phones at all. No Playstations, Xboxes, limitless channels on cable, laptops or tablets. Facebook was an actual face and an actual book. We had friends. We went outside and found them. We played dodgeball and sometimes the ball would hurt. We fell out of trees, got cut and broke bones and teeth. And there were no lawsuits from these accidents. No one was to blame but us. Remember accidents? We had fights and punched each other and got black and blue and learned to get over it. We made up games with sticks and tennis balls, and although we were told it would happen, we didn't put out any eyes. We rode bikes or walked to a friend's home, knocked on the door, rang the bell, or just walked right in and talked to him. Little League had tryouts, and not everyone made the team. Those who didn't had to learn to deal with disappointment. Some students weren't as smart as others, so they failed a grade and were held back to repeat the same grade. Tests were not adjusted for any reason. Our actions were our own. Consequences were expected. The idea of parents bailing us out if we got in trouble in school or broke a law was unheard of. They actually sided with the school or the law. Imagine that. Now this generation has produced some of the best risk takers, problem solvers, and inventors ever. We had freedom, failure, success, and responsibility, and we learned how to deal with it. If you've related to anything that was just said, you're one of them. Congratulations. You made it. Well, that was the video of the 80s. And as you can see, I'm a child of the 80s as well. And this video plays very, very good. Um, especially the part where it said Facebook was faces on a magazine or in a book. Um, that was a real, real good part. Well, let's take a little commercial break, and we'll come right back with a story about Father's Day. LDM, and I'm your host, Charles Aloma. Father's Day is coming, and it's around the corner. Well, this Father's Day is going to be very good. You know, you have your fathers with your sons, and sons with your fathers. Before we show the next clip, I would like to, everyone to know, if you have a photo or video of something you did on Father's Day with your dad or your son, send it to us. Send us to the uh, address that's written in the bottom. 
this clip here is a very nice moral clip. father singing with his son was posted on on Facebook by one of our fans and I would like to play this video for you. Here it goes. That was a horrible film. talk about when we come back about helping and giving your heart out to other people. Pizza, 718-782-5042. Serving Williamsburg, New York. Roebling Pizza, 718-782-5042. Where every taste is like a party in your mouth. Roebling Pizza is a sponsor of All Sports Athletic League. Welcome back to the end. I'm Charles Aloma. And we're going to speak about humanity goodwill, giving your heart and your soul to someone else besides you. 
Well, this next clip that I would like to show you is a bunch of guys that just did that. They normally do videos of prank jokes and uh, things in that nature. But today, they did something amazing. In another post by one of our fans on our Facebook, um, and was giving me the uh, information, which I think you would like this video. Here's the video. My name is Adam. My name is Sheikh. And today we're going to be doing something different. Usually we always go out and do a lot of pranks and mess around with people, but... But in this video, we're going to try to make homeless people smile. We bought food, water, and... Um, uh, and fruits and money and stuff, and we're going to use that to see how beautiful this smile comes out when we give them. And we have clothes that we don't even uh, wear anymore, so we decided we'll give it to them. So we're going to go around and hopefully make them smile and make their days and hopefully make your day for watching it. So, yeah. Oh. Like I said, by you doing something and giving a, a helping hand, many things can happen. And these kids, I hope they continue doing it and um, continue going uh, further than they are. And I apologize I said kids because they're younger than me, but these men, these young men are very uh, needy, and we need more people like that. If you get stories or you have video clips, you can like us on Facebook. Or send us um, your information to our email address, which will be in the bottom of the screen now or sooner or later. But send us your clips. Send us your uh, pictures. And we'll get right on to you. So we'll come right back after this message. And we'll have more stories on other things to come.
come back for our last clip of the day. First, we were speaking about kids from the 80s. Well, what happens if you are a lady, 67, and you're considered downhill? You know, they say the new 40 is new 30s. What about being old, washed out? Well, this is next clip will take your mind completely the other way, and then you will realize that being 60, 70, 80, we go right back to the back of the days where our parents would say, age is just a number. Well, watch this video. Until next time, stay gold.